how to install the Salus Controls base pack from scratch. This is part of the Salus Smart Home range. So first of all, you get a gateway, which is a UG600 gateway. You'll get an RX10 RF, and you'll also get an SQ610 RF. Now I'm gonna to go to the App Store, and I'm gonna download the Salus Premium Light app. Please make sure that you download the correct app. We'll now be asked to set up an account, and you just need to put your details in there. You will get an email, and you'll get a confirmation code. You just need to fill that in, and then you need to go back into the app and put that code in. I'm now going to add the UG600 Universal Gateway onto the account. So we're just going to plug this in. So first of all, I'm just going to plug the internet in. So this is directly connected to the router at the moment. We can remove it from this later once it's set up. And then we're just going to plug this in. If we have a look on the top now, it's now gone green. It's gone red. It's gone green. It's gone blue. That will take a few minutes. It's just connecting to the internet. We can now connect the UG600 gateway to the app. So if we click on connect via LAN, we click search for gateway. Before we do that, just click on the top of the gateway and it'll start to flash. And then we can click on search for gateway. This may take a few minutes. We can see there it's connected instantly. All we need to do now is put us details again in here. Address details, you can put an image in there if you like. Once we've put us details in, we can activate Gateway. That's your Gateway connected. We can now add the RX10 RF boiler receiver. The RX10 RF will need to be wired to the boiler. So if we have a look in here, we've got a live and a neutral. So that's your main feed coming in from a plug or a fuse spur. There's also a connection here and that connection would go to your boiler. But please read the wiring instructions for your particular boiler for this. I'm now going to add the RX10 RF onto the account. So we can see there that the light is flashing red. It's in auto and it's on. So if we go to the three lines, click on equipment, all equipment, and then add new equipment. And now we want to scan for equipment. And we can see there, boiler receiver. Click on boiler receiver and click on connect equipment. We can name the equipment. I've named that RX10 RF and then finished. That's the boiler receiver now connected in the background. I'm now gonna add the SQ610 RF smart thermostat. To add the thermostat, we just need to turn it on. So we'll just hold on to the tick. I'll turn on. Tell you software version. Click the language that we require. Click on English. Click on connect to network. And then again, three lines at the top. Equipment all equipment, add new equipment, scan for equipment. It's now gonna find this thermostat. We can see there now it says go to smart home app. That means it's gonna connect now. So we can just see it there. Smart thermostat, connect equipment. And then we can just name equipment. Just put it as test for now. And then click on finished. We can see the thermostat is now in the app, but on the thermostat it's still saying go to smart home app. That's because we need to assign the thermostat to an application. So if we click on the dot on the thermostat, click on the dot again, and then we can assign it or pair it to what we want to pair it to. We'll click on more, click on there, we can see boiler receiver. So we're just gonna click this one onto boiler receiver and click on next. Do we want to run a default schedule? No, complete setup. 